For the next 100 days, I'm gonna be a king in Minecraft. Can I survive epic, massive medieval battles, save the princess, and take down the evil king? <laughs> You'll have to watch till the end to find out. On day one, I spawned in as a noble warrior. There was an epic battle taking place, and I was in the middle of it. Whoa, what's going on? Suddenly, my dad walked up to me. He was the ruler of this realm. Get your head out of the clouds and fight. Right. I quickly began battling, but my lack of experience showed. I had only just spawned. Regardless, I fought as hard as I could. My dad, on the other hand, was a super skilled fighter. He took out the enemy soldiers with ease. Just as things were starting to look up, he was stabbed. Dad! I quickly rushed to my dad's defense and began to fight off the hordes of soldiers approaching him. Dad, are, are you going to be okay? I'm dying, my boy. Please, take the throne and guide our people. My dad died by my side, dropping his crown, sword, and shield. No! Our soldiers were wiped out, leaving me alone on the battlefield. I turned around to find the enemy army led by their king. Looks like you're the last one, boy. Or should I say, king? You're a monster! I'll give you two options. Serve under me and surrender your kingdom, or die. I'll never serve you! I ran away as fast as I could. Should we follow him? No, let him run. We'll snuff him out soon enough. On day two, with my dad gone, I was now king of this land. I needed to look the part, so I put my dad's crown on. I guess it's official. I'm the king. I returned home to find my kingdom decimated. Hello? Any survivors? Please answer. Nobody responded, but I continued to seek out anyone who might be in trouble. Suddenly, a remaining enemy soldier attacked me. Haven't you done enough already? I began to fight him off, but with my dad's sword, he was a breeze. After the fight, I continued searching for survivors and spotted a horse in a nearby pen. I approached the animal, but he was still shaken from the battle. Easy, buddy. I'm a friend. I managed to soothe the horse and use a saddle from a nearby chest to climb onto his back. Thanks, pal. Want to help me find some survivors? I rode off to continue my search and eventually found a group of villagers hiding. It's okay to come out. Your king is here. Is the empire gone? It's injured, but together, we'll rebuild it. On day three, I decided to explore the land more by horseback. First, we found a forest biome where I chopped down some trees for wood. I used the wood I gathered to create a crafting bench and some wooden tools. Next, I went mining for some cobblestone and upgraded to stone tools. Not a bad start. Suddenly, it began to rain. I decided to head back home. Once I arrived at the kingdom, the rain stopped and extinguished all of the fires. I walked through the entrance to find a man waiting for me inside. My lord, Damien, at your service. Damien, you survived! So good to see you! Excellent to see you as well. As you know, I was the right hand to your father. If you'd like, I would love to continue my work under your rule. Of course! First order of business, your grace. You don't need to gather your own materials. You are the king now, after all. Please, take this. Ah, much better. After that, I headed to my sleeping quarters, or at least what was left of it. This is gonna need some fixing. I decided to patch it up with the materials I had on hand. It wasn't pretty, but it was a start. Man, I'm gonna have to pay some people to revamp this place. After a long day of work, I decided to get some sleep, but something was making me feel uneasy. Hey, it's probably nothing. That night, I was awoken by a noise. Suddenly, an assassin entered my room with his weapon ready. Who are you? I was sent by the Arch King to eliminate you. Not on my watch. We began to fight, but he was much faster than I was. I couldn't land a clean hit. Can you hold still for one second? Suddenly, Damien entered the room. My lord? Back! Back off, you filthy assassin! He joined in the fight and managed to help me take him down! Thank you, Damien. But I think it's clear we need more guards willing to fight for us. That is a splendid idea, but we need coin, my lord. No one will fight for free. I'll take care of it. The next morning I went mining, finding iron and coal. This is the start of great riches! On days 8 through 11, I returned to the castle where I was greeted by Damien and two other people. Sire, these two warriors who stand before you shall be your new knights. That's wonderful! Thank you! It is truly an honor to serve under you, but we need weapons and armor for the job. I got that covered. Now that I had some more, I crafted a furnace and smelted all the iron I had found. 
With my newly smelted iron, I made a pickaxe. I returned to the mines and went mining for more iron and coal. I was gonna need a lot of it. While mining, I even struck gold. Finally, I used the ingots to craft two swords for my guards. Only the best gear for my team. Before returning to the guards, I continued on the repairs a bit more. I managed to patch up all the holes so it was at least a solid structure. Eh, it's a roof over my head. After working more on the castle, I returned to the guards and gave them their gear, as well as some gold for their troubles. Oh, thank you, my lord! Of course. Keep the castle safe while I'm gone. I called for my horse and headed out to explore the land further. On days 12 through 14, during my exploration, I was getting hungry, so I hunted some sheep and chicken for food. Tasty, but not the most sustainable for my people. After my hunt, I gathered up some more wood as well as seeds for an upcoming project. As I was gathering, I noticed a nearby village was being attacked by the Arch King's men. I have to help! I fought off the soldiers one by one, but they were pretty tough. Still though, I powered through, defeating all of the soldiers. Once the dust settled, all of the villagers began to celebrate. Thank you so much for freeing our village. I think me and my wife could be of great assistance to your kingdom. What do you do? I'm a skilled blacksmith. With the right materials, I can make just about anything. And I would be happy to tend your crops if need be. That would be fantastic! I can pay you for your services and give you a warm place to call home. On days 15 through 18, I returned back to the kingdom with the blacksmith and his wife. Wow, the kingdom seems to be in great disarray. It's a work in progress. Speaking of... Rather than restoring what was lost, I decided to salvage what was left of the wall and start fresh. Luckily, the blacksmith helped me. I went through multiple pickaxes until finally the entire wall was taken down. Afterwards, I flattened out the ground. Can't have anyone tripping. With the land better prepared, I quickly got to building. I built a house for the villagers to stay in, complete with the forge for the blacksmith. I also added their own personal garden. Thank you so much. I can't wait to try it out. Please take this. And this as well. The blacksmith gave me some dope armor and his wife gave me some food. Thank you and welcome to the kingdom. On days 19 through 21, a bird flew by and dropped a message. Oh, brave king. I am trapped in a castle guarded by an evil dragon. If you are brave and true, head to the north and find me in the tallest tower, Princess Peach. I've got to save her. Before I left, I spoke with Damien and asked for him to find stonemasons to further repair the castle. Very good, my lord. I set off on horseback to save the princess. I traveled through multiple biomes until finally arriving at a beautiful white and red castle. Onward! I entered the castle and found a dragon waiting for me inside. Uh, nice dragon? The dragon let out a ferocious roar and began to fight me. I brought the battle outside and tried to fend it off, but it was too powerful for me. This is insane! It blasted me with its fire breath and began to destroy the castle around it. I fled from battle and rushed to the highest point of the castle and found the princess sleeping in her bed. Wake up! How are you sleeping through this? Oh, a noble knight here to save me? Yes! Let's go! I've dreamt of this day. My king. We gotta go or we're gonna die! I picked her up and started to make my way down the ladder. <laughs> I quickly booked it past the dragon as fast as I could. On days 22 through 25, I returned to the castle with my princess on my shoulders. It had been patched up just as I requested. Max, I can't wait any longer. We must wed. Damien, prepare the altar. I'm getting married. Later that day, the wedding began. People from far and wide sat in the pews. All of my subjects gathered. Even her weird friends came to pay tribute. Mamma mia. My beautiful bride entered the chapel, looking more angelic than ever. On this day, we wed these two in holy matrimony. Princess, do you take Max the king to be your noble husband? I do. And your grace, are you ready to meet your maker? Uh, excuse me? Those aren't the words. I'm sorry, my lord. I do believe they are. Suddenly, he pulled out a sword and attacked me. <gasps> oh my. I had no choice but to take out my own. He was a skilled swordsman, but luckily I was more so. I managed to bring him to his knees. Imposter, who sent you? Let me guess, the Arch King. The true king and his true subjects. Sent me. You have committed treason of the highest account. And for that, you must die. I slayed him and turned to my bride. 
My lady, I do. Yay! Yay! Peach was now my queen. We faced the audience and then walked out of the chapel, happy as we could ever be. On days 26 through 28, I stood hand in hand with my new queen and began to tell her about my big plans for the kingdom. I dream of creating the most beautiful and prosperous kingdom in the land. We will have streets paved with gold and war will be eradicated. That's great and all, honey, but there's gonna have to be some serious changes around here. You're right, let's get to work. The two of us started by building a house made of different types of wood to give it variety. We liked the design so much that we decided to build multiple more throughout the kingdom. Perfect. We're growing more and more each day. Once our work was done, I decided to check in with Damien. Are we expecting more people to come live in the kingdom? Yes, my lord. There's been a few requests. Damien began to throw countless request books in my direction. Okay, so we need to keep expanding. On days 29 through 31, I visited with my people to see how they were doing. We're doing great now. Thanks to you, you're an excellent king. I continued to make my rounds when suddenly a panicked messenger ran up to me. They, they were, they were, and it's, it's horrible. <laughs> Whoa, hey, calm down. What happened? I came to warn you of a coming horror. What do you mean? Each neighboring town has been visited by spirits, evil spirits from beyond this world. They walk through the town speaking only one word. What word is that? You'll see for yourself tonight. After the ominous warning, he left. Huh, better safe than sorry. I spent the rest of the day crafting stone swords and handing them out to my people as a means of protection. As I finished my preparations, night approached and a fog rolled through the town, just like the messenger said. Suddenly, terrifying ghouls started to walk through the town, saying only one word. Hide. I watched in horror, too scared to move. Hide. You know what? Enough of this! I'm a king! I jumped into battle with my dad's sword and began to fight off all the ghouls. With the help of one of my knights, we managed to take them all out. As I slayed the final ghoul, they dropped a map. The one true king. I'll have to check this out soon. On days 32 through 34, I decided to check on my horse. He seemed to be trying to tell me something. What is it, boy? Little Timmy caught in the well? No? Huh. Oh yeah, you don't have a name. I'll call you Maximus. He loved it. Suddenly, one of my guards approached me. Sire, as the kingdom grows, it's becoming more difficult for only two knights to defend. I'm on it. I went exploring on Maximus in search of some new knights. During my travels, I stumbled upon an epic warrior saving people from a monster. Whoa, he's perfect. Excuse me, would you like to serve as my guard? I'm sorry, who are you? I'm the king of these parts. Uh huh. Well, I don't take orders. I give them. Prove your worth to me. Defeat me in battle. You're on. We began our duel, but he outmatched me both in strength and size. I used my father's blade to send a flurry of attacks, but he came back with his own doused in flames. I tried my best, but he defeated me. Ha! You're no king. I'll show you soon enough. I ran away, feeling embarrassed. On days 35 through 38, I went back home feeling humiliated and knew that I needed to get stronger. I decided to follow the map of the one true king. If anyone can teach me, it would be him. Before leaving on horseback, I spoke to Damien. Please continue working on the castle while I'm away. Yes, my lord. I traveled through multiple biomes, mining some cobblestone along the way. Finally, the map led me to the peak of a mountain. There, I found a mysterious sword trapped within a stone. Whoa, cool. I tried to pull the sword out, but it wouldn't budge. Ugh! Why won't you move? It's because you are not yet worthy of Excalibur, but you can be. I turned around to find a wise king standing before me. Who are you? I'm King Arthur, ruler of these lands. What brings you to my domain? I'm King Max, and I'm here to become a more worthy ruler of my people. You're still young, but you have much potential. I will train you. When do I start? Now. On days 39 through 41, I began my training with King Arthur. The first hallmark of a good king is inspiring your subjects. Come with me, Max. I followed him, leading me to a village in ruin. This town has been ravaged by bandits and monsters alike. Today, we help them rebuild. Arthur and I spent the day restoring the village to its former beauty. 
We even passed out rations to those in need. Now, the village was better than ever. Thank you, your grace. You needn't thank me. It is my royal duty to serve my subjects. With the village rebuilt, Arthur began to lead me to my next task. The second hallmark of a great king is to be capable of protecting your realm. We stopped at a plains biome. At the center of the field was a sheep pen, surrounded by a swarm of zombies. Defend that pen as if those sheep were your own people. Yes, sir! I immediately jumped into battle, taking out each zombie with ease. I took extra care that the pen and the sheep inside were unharmed by the fallout. Woohoo! You've done well, my boy. The final hallmark of a good king is that he must have a lasting legacy. How do I do that? Take this map to your final quest. It will lead you to a monster that has been terrorizing these lands for millennia. Defeat it, then all will know of your bravery. I won't let you down. But first, I need to prepare. On days 42 through 44, I returned home to find the castle had been greatly improved. Wow, Damien, this looks great. You have my thanks, my lord. I felt inspired by Damien's work and decided to do some of my own. I started by finally repairing the bridge and creating a proper entrance for the kingdom. Afterwards, I repaired the barracks to be more suitable for my knights. I'll recruit more knights soon, but some extra defense would be nice. I decided to craft some stone brick walls and began working on the outer perimeter of the kingdom. This will take a while, but it'll be worth it. After I finished building, I went mining for materials. I gathered more cobblestone, gold, and even diamond. I know just the use for this. I returned home and crafted diamond swords for both of my knights. I'm heading out now. Take this and keep things in order while I'm away. Thank you, Saya. We won't let you down. On days 45 through 49, I plan to fight King Arthur's monster and claim Excalibur for my own. My love, I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back, my dear king. I shall await your arrival. Please do return to me post haste. Hi, dog. I set off for my final test. After some traveling, I stumbled upon a group of humans hanging out at a campfire. Hey, is everything all right? They explained that they had no home, so I invited them to the kingdom and tossed the map their way. After following King Arthur's map for some time, I reached a massive palace. Whoa, this place is freaky. I walked up the steps and into a guard, revealing a terrifying monster. Let me guess, you were sent by King Arthur. Yeah. How'd you know? He sends all his trainees here. None have lived to tell the tale. Well, there's a first for everything. I charged in to fight the fell beast, and our battle began. They were a fierce competitor that specialized in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Each of his massive fists dealt devastating damage. He even managed to break my helmet. Our battle continued for what felt like hours. No wonder this was King Arthur's final test. Quit now, boy. I won't tell old Arthur. Never! Excalibur will be mine! After a lot of fighting, I went in with my blade, slashing and killing the monster! Woohoo! Upon their death, they dropped a lily tad flower, which I pocketed to show King Arthur. It's time to go get that sword! On days 50 through 53, I traveled back to King Arthur to claim Excalibur. When I got there, he was already waiting for me. Congratulations, Max. You have inspired your subjects, protected your realm, and created a lasting legacy for yourself and your kingdom. Thank you so much, Your Grace. When you are ready, you may pull the sword from the stone. I walked up to Excalibur, pulling it loose and claiming it as my own. I did it! After receiving the sword, I gained 10 hearts. I said my thanks to the king, then headed back home. Damien, I'd like to expand our kingdom some more. Our numbers grow more and more each day. Could you help me out? Sure, but that isn't exactly the role of the king's hand. Well, it is now! <sighs> He tossed me tons of materials, and we both got to work. First, we expanded the outer wall. If the Arch King was preparing his army, we had to have proper defense. Next, we built the royal vault as a place to store all of the kingdom's riches. After a lot of building, the kingdom was looking amazing. This is for you, Dad. On days 54 through 57, I explored my kingdom. Suddenly, a messenger ran up to me. From the One Chi King, the ruler of this kingdom and all kingdoms in the realm. Okay, guy. Just say what you have to say. The Arch King has requested your presence immediately. And if I say no? Then he will, and I quote, send a cavalry of men with enough TNT to wipe out the continent. Okay then, I guess I'll meet with him. Before leaving, I spoke with Damien, instructing him to continue expansion of the wall. Yes, my lord. 
I set out to find the king. After some searching, I stumbled upon an evil looking castle. Ugh, who makes a statue of themselves? I walked into the castle, where the arch king was waiting for me. What do you want with me and my kingdom? I'll make this quick, little king. I'll be taking your territory. What? You can't do that! I'm the true king of these lands. I can do as I please. <laughs> no! You can't! I won't let you! You have no choice. We are in the final stages of preparations. If you do not surrender peacefully, your lands will become drenched in the blood of battle. Bring it on! On days 58 through 60, I was helping my subjects gather food from their garden. Suddenly, I heard screaming in the distance. Thief! Thief! I turned around to see a man on a horse running from the castle entrance. I quickly ran to Damien. What happened? The royal vault has been robbed. The thief is getting away. Not while I'm around. I jumped onto Maximus and began to chase him down. We barreled through the forest, taking care to weave around trees as we rode. Stop in the name of the king! We ran for a while until finally he was cornered. The thief stopped and turned to me. Who are you? I'm Robin Hood, and these are me merry men. Suddenly, a group of men ambushed me. I had no choice but to fight back. I tried to fend off the onslaught of arrows, but they were well versed with a bow. Why are you stealing from us? Robin Hood steals from the rich pigs like you and gives to the poor. My kingdom isn't even rich. We just started up. Suddenly, Robin Hood ordered his men to stop. So let me get this straight. You fight for the weak? Yeah, I do. I was sorry for my leap in judgment. Anyone who fights for the weak, I am honored to serve. Me and my merry men will protect the kingdom. Oh, <laughs> great. On days 61 through 64, I decided to do some more exploring. A king can never be too familiar with his kingdom. During my travels, I came across a marketplace in shambles. What happened here? The Arch King destroyed our town. Now we have nowhere to go. Don't worry, you all can stay at my kingdom. I took all the merchants back home and began work on a marketplace. I built shops for the new residents to continue their work and share it with the other townsfolk. This is wonderful! Thank you so much! With the marketplace completed, I went to check on Robin Hood to see how they're setting up. I have archers planted at every corner of the castle, sir. Great! Take this for your efforts. I gave him tons of gold. For your troubles, be sure to spread this wealth to the people as well. Very good, my king. On days 65 through 70, a messenger entered the castle bearing an announcement. On behalf of King Jake, ruler of the West, I hereby invite anyone and everyone to the Tournament of Champions. Winner of the bump will be rewarded handsomely. The tournament will be held tomorrow at noon. Thank you for your time. Perhaps you should fight in the tournament, your grace. Huh? Why? The prize could be beneficial to the kingdom, my lord. Huh. You make a good point. All right, why not? I then called my horse and set out to the tournament. <laughs> After traveling through many biomes, I finally reached King Jack's kingdom. I entered the castle to find two knights fighting to the death. Whoa, this is serious. All right, a well-fought battle by our heroic knights. Now it's time for the main event. Introducing the man with the red mane, savior of the people, King Max. Oh, that's me. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. You, sir, will be fighting Keeper of the Flame, Terror of the Night, and the Arch King's right-hand man, Ignis the Destroyer. The strong knight I had fought several days ago entered the arena. Oh, man. Not good. Well, well, well. If it isn't the cowardice king, <laughs> come to prove your worth again. It's not too late to join my cause. My kingdom has gotten stronger. Too late for that, little one. I've already joined the Arch King. You stand no chance against us. Let the fight begin. Ignis began to quake the earth, just as he had done before. However, this time it was different. A strange particle came over my head. It was protecting me from his attacks. What's going on? Why won't you die? Suddenly, he became enraged and erupted into fiery blue flames. His attacks were twice as strong. My blessing kept me safe. I managed to defeat Ignis. That was the best thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. What just happened? On days 71 through 74, a bunch of villagers admired my efforts in the tournament and even asked to join my kingdom. Sure, everyone is welcome. I returned home with the villagers and started building a town square for all my people to enjoy. Things are starting to look like a proper kingdom now. Suddenly, a villager ran up to me in a panic. Help, my old fell down the well. Oh no. 
I followed the villager around the castle to the well in question. I don't remember this being here. Oh, well. I hopped down inside and found Timmy at the bottom surrounded by drowned zombies. I immediately started to fight them all off. They weren't too tough with Excalibur, but their numbers in the limited space made the fight more difficult. After a while, I managed to slay every last drowned zombie, and I brought Timmy back up to the surface. Hurry home, little boy. Your mom is worried about you. As Timmy ran off, I suddenly started to feel sick. Did I get bit by a zombie? I tried to retain consciousness, but I blacked out. On days 75 through 77, I woke up feeling a lot better, but the castle seemed to be quiet. Where's Peach? I decided to go look for her, checking multiple parts of the kingdom in the process. Princess? Yo, Peach! Princess! Finally, as I went to check the stable, I found a chest in the center. Weird. I didn't put this here. I took a look inside and found a note. The princess is in another castle. Oh my god, someone kidnapped Peach! How am I gonna find her? Sire, my men spotted someone heading east with her. Then I'll head east too. On day 78 through 80, I traveled in search of my queen until I came upon a giant castle. This has to be the place. I walked inside and immediately spotted Peach suspended in a cage from the ceiling. Don't worry, honey, I'll break you right out of there. Such a valiant and noble king. Damien, what's going on here? Are you truly that blind? I labored under your father's iron fist, caring for his every need. I deserved to be king. Not you. Just because you were his son does not mean you deserve it. That doesn't mean you have the right to kidnap my queen. I can do whatever I want. I've grown tired of this. Enjoy your final battle. Suddenly, a huge monster crawled from out of the ground. I immediately jumped into battle, using Excalibur to make a few good hits on the beast. But it was tough. The monster charged me with great speed and managed to land a few hits of its own for my queen and my father. After a steep fight, I managed to land the finishing blow on the monster. No, 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 no. Come on, face me like a man. We began to battle it out, but Damien was a pushover. And that's why I'm king and you're not. I landed the killing blow on the traitor. Afterwards, I broke Peach out of her prison and returned home. On days 81 through 84, I was enjoying a moment of peace in the kingdom. I really love this land and all of my loyal subjects, but there always seems to be someone ready to hurt them. It's stressful, but I have to keep a strong face for them. Honey, are you monologuing up here? <laughs> you know me so well, Peach. Well, hey, you have a little visitor. Bring them in. Out of nowhere, a little pixie flew into the room. Hello, how can I help you? Your Grace, I found it befitting to reveal myself to you. I am May of the Pixie Forest, and I gave you a protective enchantment during your fight with Ignis. That was you? Thank you so much. But why? Our people have been pushed out of our homes by the Arch King. We need protection. If you would allow it, my people would much enjoy living in these walls. Of course! I built a bunch of miniature houses for the pixies to call their own within the kingdom's forest. After I completed the build, I got them settled in, and they loved it! Thank you, my liege! I was still in the building mood, so I expanded the wall, finishing the perimeter. Now I just need to make it taller! On days 85 through 89, I decided it was finally time to build up my army further. Damien! Oh wait, he betrayed me and I had to kill him. Ock. I traveled to multiple villages from different biomes, gathering the best warriors from each. You have my sword. You have my bow. You have my axe. You have something on your face. It's a beard. Oh, you right, you right. I'll join ye army if ye can beat me in combat. Let's do it! The battle began. Although the warrior had speed on his side, I was experienced enough to defeat him with ease. You're skilled with a blade. I'd be happy to join your ranks. After a lot of headhunting, I finally rebuilt the numbers of my army. My valiant knights, as the protectors of this kingdom, we must also protect those at risk. The Arch King poses tyranny for all. The Arch King and his army won't stand a chance against us. Huzzah! On days 90 through 93, I had a nightmare. Where's the king? Where's the king? Where's the king? The kingdom was on fire, the screams of people echoing through the land. What's going on? What happened here? I ran to the entrance, where the Arch King was waiting for me. Hello, Max. I told you your land would be drenched in bloodshed. Please, just make it stop. Just then, a huge monster appeared. I'm gonna kill you! Take care of this false king. I tried to fight back, but the only thing I had on me was an almost broken wooden sword. Please, I'm defenseless! The monster started spinning, catapulting me into the air. Oh, no, 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 no! 
Right then I woke up, trembling in my bedroom. I can't let that happen. To be safe, I continued work on the wall, making it super tall. Hopefully this helps. I then made a diamond pickaxe, going underground and mining as much obsidian as I could find. I used the blocks to reinforce the castle. Now, hopefully, the kingdom is impenetrable. Honey, I think you should build a moat. Why? Because moats are super cool, and I want there to be one. You're right. Great idea. I quickly got to work carving out the moat and adding the water. And with that, our kingdom is finally complete. On days 94 through 98, with the kingdom finally ready, it was time to prepare for the big battle. I gathered supplies, including lots of food and my armor. However, as I was going to put it on, the blacksmith stopped me. Sire, please wait. I crafted this new armor set for the battle ahead. It is inspired by your victory in the Tournament of Champions. The blacksmith handed me the new armor, and I suited up. Truly fit for a king. Thank you. Before leaving the castle, I made sure to talk to my queen. I will return. The kingdom is in your hands now. I exited the castle to find my army awaiting my orders. When I became king, I was still naive, but I've learned much during this time of what makes a good ruler. One of my duties is to protect the vulnerable, although lives will be lost. We must end the tyranny of the Arch King, once and for all! I called for Maximus, and suddenly a trumpet was heard in the distance. I looked to see the Arch King's army waiting. The time has come for me to take what's mine. Fall, Max, just like your father before you. Right then, we both charged forward at each other. Ah! Ah! On day 99, there was a massive battle between my own kingdom and the Arch Kings. There were knights from both sides everywhere, and the sounds of clashing swords and armor filled the air. With Maximus, I tried to take down as many enemies as I possibly could. This fight wasn't the same as the one from the first day. I was much more proficient with my sword. I began to focus on the Arch King while my soldiers covered me. However, during the fray, the Arch King made a fatal blow, killing Maximus. No! Maximus! <laughs> Enraged, I sent a brutal swing at the Arch King, injuring him. He quickly fled towards his castle. You're not getting away that easily! On day 100, the Arch King stopped at the front steps of his castle. Surrender now or your life belongs to me! <laughs> you fell right into my trap. Suddenly, the Arch King conjured up minions to attack me. I was alone, so I had no choice but to fight them as a one-man army. Luckily, my sword skills came into play. I managed to take down his soldiers and land another powerful attack on the king. No, not like this. You will pay. The Arch King conjured more magic, transforming into the Arch Vessel. As the Arch Vessel, he was able to summon an outrageous number of minions to attack me, as well as shoot powerful lasers. All the minions made it hard to get in close. Come here and fight me yourself, coward. I fought up his pawns the best I could and continued to chip away at the Arch King. Eventually, I managed to strike the vessel down. As the Arch Vessel exploded, the remaining minions also died with him. After the dust had settled, the Arch King was all that remained. No, wait, I surrender. You are the true king of this realm. And with that, the tyranny of the Arch King finally ended. Huzzah!